and welcome to the second part of the WebCenter Spaces overview. In this part I will give an overview about the administration section of your environment. First of all, let's log into the system. Once you are logged in, you will see the home space uh, as I discussed in the previous part. The administration section can be found on top. Just click on the link and you will see it pop up. It is divided into several uh, tops, which I will discuss now in more detail. The first stop is the Spaces tab. It gives you an overview of all the existing spaces in your environment. As you can see from this overview, I currently have two spaces, the EMEA and the American section. The EMEA spaces has two subspaces. If you click on it, it will drill down to its children. And as you can see, I have two children being the Belgium space and the UK space. Via the breadcrumb, you can always go back to all spaces, and there you will see the overview. You can also perform some actions on your space, for example, you can edit it, change the parent, activate or close the space, bring it offline, and some other things. On the spaces template page, you can manage all the templates that you can use to create other group spaces. You will also see a description for the template and a small icon. You can select one and you can perform some actions like renaming it, set the template access or make it public uh, and delete the space template. You can also export and import a template. For example, if you are working with a staging environment, it can come in handy that you will create the template on your staging environment and you want to export it to your production environment. Then you will need these two buttons. You will also have the possibility to create a space template just give the template a name, my template for example, and then you will need to select an existing group space. And that existing group space will be used to create the template. For example, I will select the EMEA group space and when you select the next, you will be able to select all the different resources that will be used to create a template. For example, you have the pages, site resources, uh, these are the resource catalog, navigation models, page templates and so on. Members info and lists can also be uh, exported. So when you press create, the new template will be created. And now when you create a new group space, you will be able to use that template. On the pages top, you can manage the pages from your environment. You'll have the business role pages, personal pages and system pages. The business role pages are the ones that are used for the home space. As you can see, you have the activities, documents, spaces, my profile. These pages are the ones you'll see when you log into the system or you go back to your home space. You can also create new business role pages and these will be created for everybody. So once you create a new page here, everybody will see it on their home space. Another type of pages are the personal pages. These pages are created by the users themselves, not by an administrator. These pages are only accessible by their creator. You can also make it public if you wish by accessing the actions menu and set make public. Once you have done this, everybody can access the page and will see it on their home page. You can also delete the personalizations so the page will be reset to their original state. You can also edit the page if you wish copy it, rename it, or set the access. Another type of pages are the system pages. These pages are created by the system when you install a web center spaces. You can customize these pages or you can restore their defaults when you have done some customizations and you're not, not happy with it. The next stop is the resources stop. On this stop, you will manage all the global resources for your environment. The resources that you create here are available in every single group space that you will create. I will not go into much detail about these resources. I will create separate tutorials for every type of resources that you will find here. On the security tab, we can grant access to users or groups. First, we need to specify whether we want to grant access to a user or a group. Then we need to find the group or the user you need to specify a part of the name, for example, admin. Then you will find the results. You select the group or the user that you want to grant access. 
and then you need to specify which role. So now I will grant the administrator's group the administrator role. I grant access and it will appear here in the overview. You can also remove the access by specifying delete role assignment. These roles are managed on the roles page. Here you will see an overview of all the existing roles and what permissions they have. Just by checking and unchecking the checkbox you will add or remove permissions. Don't forget to press the apply button. You can also create your own role, specify a name, for example a super user, and you can specify a template which is an existing role so it will get all the permissions from the existing role. So once my role has been created you will see your super user and it will be a copy of the administrator. I will change some permissions to it and I will press the apply button. And now I can use this role to grant access to my users. The last top is a configuration top. On this top we will configure some general settings for our environment like the name of the application, the default language, the skin, the logo. We will also specify the behavior of the login. For example you can say after the login go to the home space. You can also specify a specific space to be redirected once you are logged in or specify a page URL. This is quite important because I see a lot of questions on the forum and people don't seem to know that this is possible just from the configuration tab. In the resource section you can specify the default page template and all the different resource catalogs that are used in the environment. In the self-registration part you can enable or disable the self-registration form. You can also specify whether or not the self-registration is only available upon invitation or it is publicly available. So this concludes the second part of the WebCentral Spaces overview. It was a brief overview and you should now be able to create a group space and do some basic administrations on the WebCentral Spaces. In my upcoming video tutorials I will go in much more detail about specific topics about Web Center Spaces. For example, I will create video tutorials about resource catalog, navigation models, how to create polls, how to create lists, and so on. If you want me to create a video tutorial about a specific topic, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.